YouTube, what is up? It's your boy Nick Stacks back at it again with another lit video. Now I know why you clicked on this video. Today I'm gonna be teaching y'all about the stage three clutch for your car, specifically a 350Z stage three clutch. I know you guys are probably wondering what stage three clutch I have in this car. So the clutch I have in this car is a South Bend Stage 3 Clutch Kit. I'll put the link in the description down below so you guys could check out what clutch kit I got. So we're going to be driving the car. I'm going to be talking. I'm going to be showing you guys the full experience, the pros and cons to the Stage 3 Clutch. Let's get right into the cold start. Get this cold start. I know you guys can hear that, that noise. Listen. That's the stage three clutch making that noise. All right, so the first thing I want to talk about with the stage three clutch is how aggressive the bite is. You know how you could slip the clutch on your stock, um, your stock 350Z clutch or whatever? On this one, you could slip the clutch, but as soon as you slip it, it bites like instantly. So you gotta start giving it gas or else you're gonna stall. People say that the stage three clutch is hard to drive, but I'm gonna be honest right now. It's it's like a medium level. Like at first when you drive it for the first time, like I bought this car completely with a stage three clutch, never drove one. I had a stock clutch in my other Z and coming from that clutch to this clutch, the first day I bought this car, I'm not gonna lie. I was jerking first gear back and forth like a moron and everybody was looking at me. But after a couple days of driving it, I got used to it, and I'm not gonna lie, a stage three clutch is the best upgrade you could do for your car, guaranteed. So I'm gonna wait for the car to warm up, but let me talk about the engagement point. This clutch pretty much bites probably like 60 to 65% up, which I what I mean by that is like, when you push it down, on the way back up is when it bites. My other Z, it used to bite like right on the ground. Like I would let it off probably like 20%, 30% and it's already biting and you're down to go. But this car, it bites more at the top. So car's finally warmed up. Let's put it in reverse. Gotta give it some gas. So one thing people tell you to do when you have a stage three clutch is push the clutch in and while you're letting off, like tap the gas. When in reality, you don't need to do that. Just find the biting point. As soon as the car starts moving a little bit forward, give it as much gas and then let go. It's not as hard as people make it seem. Stage three clutch is honestly pretty smooth once you learn how to drive it. And I promise the bite is going to make you fall in love. Like the stock clutch does not grab like this. We got four wheeler over there. See, look how smooth that is. easy but yeah the rev matching on the stage 3 clutch oh my god that shit's beautiful like oh my 
my god. Matching again. Don't worry, guys. I'm gonna put the windows down on the way back just so you guys can hear the car better. I just want to explain everything with the stage three clutch to get you guys in tune with the video and to why people talk so much about stage three clutches. The main reason is the bite. I'm not gonna lie, like if you race your car or street race or do anything like that, I suggest getting a stage three clutch. People say if you daily drive your car, don't get a stage three clutch. Well, they're completely wrong. Got somebody following me in a fucking roller. guys a little little taste of the stage three clutch right here I'm gonna do a nice little pull let that car go up a little bit you guys ready all right here we go If you have a 350Z or a G35 or any sports or performance car that you like to do track, racing, anything like that, upgrade now. Stage 3 is the way to go. It's going to handle all the power. Even if you're stock, Stage 3 is the way to go. There's no point of upgrading to a stock clutch when it's like $100, $200 more dollars to get a Stage 3. And by the way, again guys, this is the South Bend Stage 3 Clutch. This came in my car. So yeah, if I if I didn't have the South Bend, I probably would have went with I probably would have went with action. A uh, action clutch. But since the South Bend Stage 3 came with the car, I just I don't mind it. It grabs good. Doesn't have any problems with me, so. Good rating on my end, that's all I can say. Other people say, other people tell you, oh, tap the gas and you could take off in first gear easier. Like, no, you don't need to do all of that. You just need to find the biting point of your car and give it gas like right then and there. I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna take some practicing, but I guarantee you'll get it in no time. Just keep practicing your car. Just go around, drive it every day. That's what I did. I bought this car with the stage three learned in like two to three days on how to drive it and where the biting point was you guys ready nice little pull that stage three bites like crazy guys Oh my god, I love this fucking clutch. Stage three for the fucking win. In conclusion, would I recommend upgrading to a stage three clutch with the pros and the cons? Yes, I would recommend going stage three for sure. It is 100% worth it. It might suck when you're driving in traffic and and not used to it, like you're probably gonna think, damn bro, this clutch is hard to get used to. I don't know why I changed to stage three, but I promise after a good couple of days, once you practice and learn this by heart, 
bro, this shit is, you're gonna realize that you should have did this a long time ago. you guys been waiting for what everybody has been waiting for 40 roll So guys, in conclusion, should you upgrade to a stage three clutch? The answer is yes. Upgrade to a stage three clutch. Whenever your clutch is given out, I don't suggest switching from stock to a stage three clutch unless you need to upgrade your clutch. So yeah, make sure you guys buy a stage three clutch. I recommend, I think it's called a Jim Wolf Technology JWT, South Bend stage three, which I got in my car with the flywheel and action action clutch stage three all of them are good i don't recommend upgrading to stage one or stage two because it's not really a difference you might as well just go stage three people say it's hard to drive but i promise if you guys watch that video it was nice smooth easy grabs hard the only downside like i said the negatives is driving in traffic and the biting it bites very aggressive, so you got to give it more gas than normal. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you guys did, make sure you guys slap that like button. If you guys want to see more content on the Nismo 350Z, subscribe to the channel. Roll to 1,000 subs. It's your boy Nick Stacks. Signing off. Say goodbye, Nismo. Peace. Remember I was dead broke, I had to find a way Watch if he's playing catch up, it was barely time to wait It's hard to accept the love when you're surrounded by the hate Disrespecting my mother, I ain't had nowhere to stay So I went and got my hustle on Before I go make sure my money's long Somehow I made it through the thunderstorm